Picture this, you're doing laundry or the dishes or driving a car and you wanna be entertained. It's hard to watch something because you're busy, so you wanna listen to something. Well, I got you. Here are the top 10 podcasts that I've been currently listening to that you can listen on the go or just doing some chores. So let's get started. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to my channel. It's that time again, guys. It's been about a year since I did my last podcast recommendation video and you guys love these videos, so I'm making another one. I have them written out and I'm super excited to share some new podcasts that I'm listening to. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Lauren. I am a college senior and I do productivity and organizational videos here on the channel. I'm gonna start off with some of the new podcasts that I've been listening to and then I will re-mention some podcasts that I've already mentioned before but that I still listen to so that new people who watch this can have more recommendations. Here's a disclaimer. If I don't mention any of the podcasts that I did in my last video, it's either because they stopped posting episodes or I just don't listen to it anymore. I don't want to recommend a podcast that it's been months since I've listened to an episode, so that's not going to be in this video. The first thing I want to mention here is the Circle Time podcast. This kind of comes in a duo because I first started listening to this podcast because one day I was bored and I wanted to listen to a podcast and this came up in my recommendations. I don't know why, but I feel like I recognized her. I clicked on it and I watched like a couple episodes and so I saved it on my library and now because of her I started watching Insanely Chill by Cody Ko which is her husband and then because of that I started watching Cody Train so it kind of just became this whole like snowball they go on each other's podcasts very regularly so there are just some episodes where it feels like the same podcast the main thing about Circle Time is that the really like chill episodes where it's literally just her on a couch with a mic talking about like the things she did over the weekend it kind of feels like a really chill friend on FaceTime and it just makes me so happy every time I watch it. And then if I'm being honest, Insanely Chill kind of feels more of like a bro hangout. It's a very funny conversation, but sometimes they actually do talk about really interesting things. I've been getting into running lately, so they sometimes talk about marathons and things that they did to prep and I just find that stuff really interesting. So Circle Time and Insanely Chill kind of comes in a duo, but these are two brand new podcasts that I've been really listening to and I've been really loving for the past like two months. So I've been listening to this next podcast for about almost a year now. Literally a month or two after I made my last podcast video, I started watching this podcast on YouTube. It is Mind Bialik's Breakdown. So it is a lot about like neuroscience. She brings a lot of guests that are either her friends or like professional psychologists or authors or people who really know what they're talking about and kind of talk about mental health, how you can better your life. And I love how vulnerable she gets. There are things that have been said in this podcast that I've never heard anyone say and that I thought I was the only one that experienced that. People's thought processes and how they respond to emotions and so many things about life. But there's also episodes where it's literally just her talking to a friend about early childhood and there are some episodes that are like really funny. So it's like a good combination of things. The catchphrase is where we break things down so that you don't have to. And I feel like that's just like a perfect representation of every single mental health conversation I've had in my life. So if you guys are really looking for like a psychology podcast, mental health, this is a really good podcast to listen to. Hello, it's editing me here. I completely forgot to mention two entire podcasts that I've been listening to. I was literally watching it right now on YouTube and I forgot to mention this. So this is the TMG podcast. So like I said, it's a snowball. So I've been really craving listening to new podcasts and all of a sudden I have like three that I've been listening to. So I get really excited. For me, this one is literally just like another version of Insanely Chill. However, in this one, they do a lot more like skits and they talk more about things that are happening in our culture. And I don't know, it's just a really chill podcast. Yeah, that's another main one. I literally started listening to this podcast like a week ago, so there's not more I can say. The other one that I've been watching is called Creator Support. So this podcast is literally brand new. I think it's like eight months old or something like that. I started listening to this podcast because at the beginning of the year, I wanted to listen to more podcasts about how people edit and strategies on YouTube. And I came upon this podcast. I didn't realize that I have already watched these two creators for a while. It's called Colin and Samir and they started this podcast because they wanted to branch out and talk specifically to creators, their process on how they go through creating content and putting in the time and effort to plan their videos, how you can use your analytics and everything. So it's a great podcast to listen to. That's just what I wanted to mention back to the video. I think I mentioned this in the last video. I'm getting very late into the bandwagon, but I'm listening to Crime Junkies. This podcast is like five or six years old and they have a gajillion episodes. Each episode goes through a unsolved or solved
solved case. It goes through literally all of the details of the case. It's not just like stating facts. It's like you're having a conversation with a person who knows all the details about a case because they ask questions and they try to like figure it out in the podcast. It's like a very like spill session. Like I feel like every time I listen to it, the questions that are asked are questions that like I would ask. It just feels very well paced and they don't try to like drag out the episodes. Like if an episode needs to be like 40 minutes long, they'll have a 40 minute long episode. If an episode needs to be like an hour plus, it will be because there are just more details to some cases than others, especially with cases that are solved, they're a lot shorter. It's really well paced, it's straight to the point. It's less of a documentary and more like a conversation you're having with a friend that knows all the deets. So if you guys love like crime documentaries and things like that, I feel like you'll really, really like this. Let me know if you guys like it. This next podcast is called The Office Ladies. So yes, I'm still listening to Office Ladies after all these years. I feel like I mention it in every single video that I do. It's basically a podcast with the two people that were part of The Office, Pam and Angela, which is Angela and Jenna Fisher. They created a podcast where every single episode they break down the behind the scenes and everything that went down. They go through the old scripts and they talk about things that were improvised, things that were put in post. It just goes into a lot more detail about how each episode was made by people who were actually there on set who could tell you stories about what actually happened and I think it's just a really interesting podcast because they have a great chemistry and dynamics so if you guys are big office fans i feel like this is a great podcast for you to listen to they're already through like season eight so if you guys have like favorite episodes of the show they've probably already made an episode about it so it's a great little pick me up okay i mentioned this in the last video too but here i am mentioning it again like i said 20 whatever this is sierra's podcast with her friends who are also part of her team it's basically things that you go through in your 20s whether you're single or married or married and have kids like it really feels like I'm hanging out with like my older sisters and so I feel very like comforted when I listen to this podcast I don't listen to it like every single time it comes out but whenever I feel like I need to listen to like sisterly advice I'll put this podcast on yeah it's kind of like an update on their lives and things that they went through as teenagers and how that affects their lives in their 20s it's just really interesting and they have like a really fun dynamic all three of them the next podcast is the SAG after podcast so if you're not an actor or a person in the film industry, this might not concern you, but I just wanted to mention it because it goes into a lot of detail of currently what the business is going through with the writer strike and with commercial contracts. It's just like a nice podcast to stay up to date. The episodes are literally like 25 to 30 minutes. It's the CEOs of the sag After Union. It's coming straight from the source and they bring in guests that are hired by the workers union and it's really specific episodes that talk about what's going on in the industry. So if that interests you, this is a really good podcast to listen to because not somebody talking about the industry it's the actual union itself having a podcast so you know you're getting the right information from the right source so again if you're in the film industry this will probably not concern you but this is Audrey Helps Actors this is probably like the best actors podcast that there is out there I feel like every single actor has probably heard of this probably knows about it it goes into very great detail about what's going on in the industry from an actor's perspective and what you can do as an actor I feel like the SAG After podcast is more about what what's happening and what's gonna happen in the future and then this podcast is more about like what we can do validating our feelings about the industry it goes into more detail about like what we can do and what we can implement to help ourselves get better in xyz so this is also a great podcast to listen to the last podcast i will mention is ear biscuits i've been listening to this podcast since i was literally 15 years old from those early youtube days where i would watch Rhett and Lane, i started listening to their podcast every once in a while i always go back in there because i love their dynamic and i feel like over time it's gotten a lot more like mature. I feel like I every time I listen to it I get like a little insight into like more adult conversations like people in their 40s But also their friendship is just so perfectly intact after all of these years I feel like the relationship doesn't change at all and it's so consistent. It makes me feel so happy I listen to this podcast a lot to go to sleep because their voices are just so calming so extremely long episodes And now we're 40 sometimes so I will listen to these really long podcasts I'll be like editing my thumbnail or like doing Monday task and it's just really calming to listen to. They talk about like the behind the scenes of their main channel and things that they're doing business-wise, stuff about their relationship as friends. It's great. So yes, that's it. That's all the podcasts that I'm listening to. If I listen to more, I feel like I'd be just so overwhelmed. Every time they come out, I love them, especially Circle Time and Mind Be All X Breakdown.
Every time they come out, I get so excited to listen to one. So let me know if you guys found any new podcasts that you're interested in listening to. And if you have any new podcast recommendations that you want me to listen to, leave it in the comments below because I'm always open to listening to new podcasts. There it is, the third video of podcast recommendations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video because that's how you let me know. Subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I post. I post every single Sunday and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.